All right, following up from last episode, we did manage to defeat the Dark Knot, or whatever it was that was in here. We got the Mirror Shield, and we're going to continue our way through the Spirit Temple. Um, we are down one out of our two fairies, so that means I got a side quest for some bottles, but that'll be okay, I think. There we go. I still don't know what Navi is trying to show me in this spot. Every time I try to summon a fairy from it, nothing happens. So, let's get this. Alright, we got a small key. And now we gotta go through here. Where the weird mummy things are that floated around. We're gonna have to use that key immediately. Alright, let's... At least we got 20 bombs, somehow. I think every time... We needed a bomb. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the hook shot. Ooh, let's get this bomb. Now, I for one am not playing, so let's... Not even... Oh! go. And then, I don't quite remember that from the original game, but that's okay. I will happily see what is up there. Oh. Alright, we'll go around this way, avoid the spiky thing. Alright, let's see. go into this room, which is clearly only for people that know Zelda's lullaby. See what we can get, if anything. Oh, this does not look kid-friendly. some bombs now. Well, what did that do? If anything. Let's find out where it might be. We'll blow up all the imaginary doors. And what kind of awful monster is that? Like, if you saw this, would you really fall for, you know, like, clearly that is a town door. Like, why is there a town door? Okay. Uh, was I supposed to hook shot up there? Did I just waste a bunch of bombs for nothing? Well, looky, looky, I did. I should have known. Alright. We're gonna get the boss key, which means we must be close to reveal it, getting to the boss chamber. Or at least they want us to think we are, but now we have the boss key. Just need something to drink. Alright. So now let's make our way. Let's make our way. Um, I personally am running a little low on time. So, oh, I did need some magic. So I may have to actually cut this episode a little short. Alright, let's see what this does. If any. I don't need any magic. But it feels like I should keep going forward. Alright. 
There we go. wall because evidently that's something we all need to do hmm Is there anything I need to make sure? Nothing. Okay. So now let's reposition the Cobra Mirror to look at the other Cobra Mirror, a la DuckTales. Now, is this one shining the way that it should? No, it is not. That would have been too simple. There we go. I believe we are very close to uh, the boss fight. So maybe, ugh. So maybe I should leave the temple temporarily. another fairy, because I recall it being something of a challenging fight. There we go. Now we're going to drop him down in front of the goddess, the Desert Colossus. Now let's switch to... Really? It can't reach? But, we can't get over there just yet. Or can we? I see. Alright, um... Let's see. I do want to get another fairy. So, let us see, let us see. What do? Hmm, what do, what do, what do? Alright, so I'm actually gonna stop recording and then I'll put the two videos together. So I'll make another video when I go into Battle of the Boss, so I will be right. <clears throat> okay, so I got a fairy, I got healed up, I'm ready for this battle, maybe. Uh oh. Hmm. I forgot there was a level of motion control with this. I don't have it resting on the little stand that I have. Um, if you hear me kind of like muffled, I am having a little snack as I do this. Probably shouldn't be snacking during a boss battle, but it's just that time of day. But okay. Alright, let's get ourselves ready. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I shouldn't even hit record. Okay, so now I'm ready. This is not a, this is easily not a fun battle for me. This is not at all a fun battle for me. Ho ho Kun, looks like someone is here. He looks like a Kotake. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so bully into our temple, ho ho ho. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson, he he he. Uh oh. Loyal minion. Hmm. But that won't work. <clears throat> no weapon, huh? 
Is the regular axe good enough for you? Alright. Oops. Got a little too, uh, stabby stab there. Come on, break the pillar. I need some hearts. Oh! This one's a little bit better than the others. And my jump was not as far as I would have liked. Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Kulume. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among Sagaruto Kotake. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Ganondorf a little while longer, ho ho ho. Then we should brainwash her again, hee hee hee. Oh no. So, let's, um, try this. I don't know, wait. I think this works? I thought it did. And I'm going in with, let's see if a bomb works. Alright. I think a bomb will work. No. Okay. Going in at less than half health. Let's see, I think this will be good. Alright. Alright. Let's continue to have my snack. This is not going to go well. At all. I don't... Oh, it is this one. Okay. So at one point I know it gets okay. That's stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice. Oh. Okay. With my flame, I will bring you to the bone. My cross off priest to him to his soul. <clears throat> Sorcerer's sisters, Twin Rova. Alright, this battle can be a little tough. not doing well. Ah, uh, 
come on. Okay, this is not going... This is not going well at all. I think I have to hit them equal... Okay. Let's get serious now, Kotake. Okay, Kuhu. Double dynamite attack. Oh my. Now this is where it's really important to, like, watch what they do. Because if you don't... And so much with old controller, old 3DS like this. I think this is when they start mixing it up. The next one might be ice. If I recall correctly, they do like to mix things up a bit. Alright. not go as horribly as I thought it was going to go. Uh-oh. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get him serious, right, Kosuke? What? Hey, Kome, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Is that- okay. Uh... Now they're just bickering. As I watch. We'll come back to haunt you! Oh my. Where's my heart? There it is. Let's get this. Alright, now... I kind of feel like having this as the final... You know, battle place. This is a place where I think Ganon would have the most amount of eyes. But what do I know? I'm just built... Here we go. We saved the final siege. Kid, let me thank you. Look at look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A, com a competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny the person like me that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit. 
And now I'm going to fight them, fight them as one of the six sieges. <laughs> Kid, no, Bill, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I'll give you this medallion. Take it. Hmm. So, are the Silver Gauntlets a Gerudo weapon? You receive the Spirit Medallion. Nabooru awakens a cessation as her power to yours. But when is she really adding, like, what power? If only I'd known you would become such a handsome man. Oh boy. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Oh my. That's right, because Gerudos go out and seek out a husband so that they can keep having more Gerudos. Bill the Hero. Finally, all of us, the Six Sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the evil king has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Okay. Desert Colossus. Alright. So let's... Let's see... Continue. Now let's go to the Temple of Time. Oh, I messed this up. Okay. A, Y, A, Y, X, A. There we go. At least I can mess up a little bit. Yes. Uh, it's 4th of July when I'm recording this, so I'm going to have some hamburgers today. Oh, I thought we teleported. I have been waiting for you, Bill. Now, this is a sacred place. This is a sacred place. Just keep that in mind. Bill, the hero of time, you have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have, and now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Sheikah folk, the Sheikah, or the Shadow folk. Here we go. Rain. Light. If you would seek the secret triangle, listen well. The resting place of the secret triangle, the secret realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, okay, but it will be the heart, if not in balance, the Triforce will suffer in three parts. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce part, representing the force the one who believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held with many others chosen by destiny, who bear the Triforce marks on the back of their hands, blah blah blah. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Secret Realm. But when, but when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts, only Triforce of Power remaining in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Bill. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. <gasps> Ninja Arts! <gasps> Zerda! It is I, the Princess of Pyro, Zerda. Princess Zordo. <laughs> I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide for the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Oh, 
I was trying to read fast when I didn't need to read fast. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Yay! Flashbacks! I thought I should entrust the Ocarina to you. I thought that it would be our best chance. You thought wrong. As long as you had the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the secret realm, but something happened I could never expect happened. After you opened the door time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the secret realm. Your spirit remained in the secret realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the secret realm, Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the secret realm became a world of evil. All of this unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf the Evil King will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus Ganondorf the Evil King will vanish from Hyrule. Bill, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses, the power given to the chosen ones. The secret light arrow. Give... That's what the light arrow looks like. You got the light arrow. The light of justice will smite evil. Select your bow and select... Uh, okay. And again, this is a secret holy place that somehow evil can enter into. <gasps> that rumbling, it can't be. He put her in a crystal. Princess Zelda, you foolish trailer. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly, under slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power, Miss Judge. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, I will attain these two, and I will become the true ruler of the world. Upskirt! Is she barefooted, or do they at least give her sandals? If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. No fun. Alright. I guess next we'll be taking on Ganondorf, King of Thieves, King of Darkness, King of Evil, um, Demise. Hit those links below to follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like, do subscribe, and check out my other videos in the right-hand comment.